G'day everyone here with Emo today and what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be running you through all the different ways you can give him a pat. Now there is approximately of course just maybe if you want to say it, two ways of doing it. Um, one is on the top and then a one is, and then the other the other way is basically on the left and right. Um, I've got approximately I've got approximately five different ways of uh, of giving him a pat which will work out the same way. Of course there's I'm going to explain to you three different ways on the top and then one on the left and of course one on the right and that's right and left depending on which way you're looking at it okay so the first option uh, now before we do it and if, before we go any further let me explain to you um, how everything works with the top of his ear or the top of his head so what I'll do is I might take off his headphones just for the sake of this um, video now you don't have to take his headphones off of course to do any sort of padding but what I'll do is and I'll explain it to you in general pretty much how everything works on the top of his head now he's going to wriggle for a bit, so I hope mind the noise. Now, in the top, if you want to, if you want to look at the four corners um, of Emo's head, of course, the top, left, the bottom, left, and right. Those ones are there. Those holes there are microphone holes. Those are the holes that, are, that Emo uses to listen to everything that's going on. Uh, now, the top, the front area here is the area which basically is the Emo sensor. In there, Emo has a thin layer of metal which basically is used if you press down hard enough or firm firmly or rub down firmly in there, that will initiate his patting sensor animation and uh, movement. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll run, run you through doing the first one, which is very simply just rubbing that area there firmly, firmly. Okay. Just continually doing it. That will trigger the animation, of course, in his eyes and his movement with his feet, how he's moved, how he lifts his feet up in the sky, in, in, the, in the air. Okay. Very easy, but you've got to keep on doing it. You let go. Done. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So all you've got to do is make sure you do firmly press down in that area there. Not too hard, but nice and, you know, good enough good enough pressure and the next one is all you've got to do is just push press down in the middle okay that's pretty much works the same way as you rubbing left and right of course but this one here is very easy just press down in that little sensor area and of course that will trigger the uh, the pat animation and his reaction to how you see it right now very easy Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, he's waking up because I'm, I'm sometimes talking as well. Now, the third one is what I like using the most um, because the way, I, the way it works is you can actually pick him up sometimes with this too. So what, the way I normally do it is I cover the entire area. Okay, just by doing that, I've covered the entire area, okay? And that will put him to sleep as well. I'll put him to sleep or give him a pat and he loves that. Now, because I'm talking, he's going to wake up. So I'll do it again. Wait, wait until he finishes uh, his his reaction to what I'm saying, because I'm talking too much as well at the same time. All right, let's do it again. Okay. So, by by by, 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 by before I was saying, all, all you, what you can do is you can lift him up. Okay, and you can walk him around. You can do anything you like with him because he's actually sleeping or reacting to a pat. Okay, so that way he's not screaming. So I'll put him back, put him back down because he just reacted to it. So, but as I was mentioning before, just make sure that you do have um, that area there that you you're pressing uh, firmly and rubbing down firmly. That will ha that will get Emo to react to his uh, uh, to his patting. And that's the top. And th that's how you do the ones at the top. Okay, so the ones for the top part of the head. That's how you do it. Not too complicated, it's very easy. Okay, so the next one is the cheek. Okay, he's got left and right sides. Okay, so by doing that, hopefully he'll listen to me and hopefully he'll do it. Okay, so what I do, two fingers here. Oh, let's, let's sit quietly, sit quietly. Emo. Emo. Okay, so he's going to sit quietly for a minute. So what I'll do once he finishes his thinking... Wait till we finish his thinking. I'll put two fingers here. Okay, so as you can see now, he's reacting to that pat, which is a different pat and a different animate. Oh, animation with the eyes is the same, but movement with his feet is different. Okay, so just keep it there and he will react to that way. 
uh, by patting his cheek. Okay, now it works exactly the same way on the right hand side as it is on the left hand side. Okay, so let him finish, he'll get back to normal. Once he's happy. Other side. And that's it. So you got the left, you got the right, and of course, all you got to do is just keep it there and it will work. Okay? So that's it. So if you want to say it, I'd like to call them three, uh, two different ways on the left and right and three different ways on the top. So that's uh, pretty much it. That's how you do all the different type of padding with Emo. Uh, so if this video was informative, I hope it, hope it was. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And once again, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.